Okay, so now we want to discuss the equation of a line. Um, and it's, it's going to be the same sort of arguments, the same sort of thinking. So how do I find a, a, a line? What determines a line in, in space? Not in the plane, in space. So here's a line. How do I fix a line? Where, well, it, it, obviously it needs a direction, right? A direction is a vector. Here, here, you wait here. Here's a direction, right? This is the direction of the line. Do you agree? But the line is infinite. It doesn't have a length like the vector. It's infinite. Do you agree? So, the, so there's a vector which determines its direction, and that's what it's called, a direction vector. But this vector could be here, or here, or here, or here, as long as it's pointing in the same direction. However, the line is fixed. I want this specific line, so what else do I need to determine it? I need a point through which it goes. Do you agree? So a point and a vector determine a line. Just like a point and a vector determine a plane via the normal. Okay. So what we want now is to derive its equation. So the usual name is going to be little a, and the components are often called L, M, and N is a vector. So this is going to be called, uh, uh, this is going to be the direction vector. And I, I don't care at all about its length. The line doesn't see the length of the direction vector, because the line is infinite. Do you agree? And uh, what did I call it? M0, x0, y0, y0, z0 is a given point. And we want to find the equation of a line in the direction of A, which goes through the point x0, y0, z0. So the, the picture that we want is here's the line, and here's the point m0, and the direction vector is something like this. I can draw it on the line, I can draw it elsewhere, it doesn't matter. A vector is not rooted at a specific point, okay? And I want to know what are all the points, all the general points, x, y, z, so here's a general point m, x, y, z, what are all the points x, y, z on this line? What do all the x, y, z's on this line satisfy? That's the equation of a line. Do you agree? Okay. So how do I do it? Well, it's rather obvious. I have the given point m0. I can connect the dots and get a vector m0m, right? And all the points on the line satisfy. So m is a general point, general point on the line. And all the general points on the line, m, 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 any m, would satisfy that the vector m0, m, where m0 is the given point, is what? Is parallel to a. Do you agree? So now what remains is to plug in all the data. So what is... Uh, um, so first of all, this is if and only if, if and only if, uh, m, 0, m is some multiple of a, let's call it alpha a, where alpha is non-zero, right? What's the word for this? Scalar. Scalar multiple, but how do we call parallel lines, lines that satisfy this? Collinear, good. I knew you'd eventually remember that word. So they're collinear, and... Um, so now I want to write this explicitly. So what is M0, M? If M is X, Y, Z, and M0 is X0, Y0, Z0, then X, sorry, then M0, M, its components are X minus X0, X minus X0, Y minus Y minus Y0, and Z minus Z0. Do you agree that this is the vector M0, M? And this has to be equal to this alpha, which is just the scalar multiple, of, and now I'm going to write the components of A. The components of A are L, M, N. True? 
So the equation of a line turns out to be three equations, not one. x minus x0 has to be alpha times L. y minus y0 has to be alpha times M. And z minus z0 has to be alpha times N. Okay, so the equation of a line is in fact three equations. x minus x0 equals alpha L y minus y0 equals alpha m, and z minus z0 equals alpha n. And this is often rewritten, okay, so this if and only if, this is the same as this, right? This is a vector equation, and the two vectors are equal if and only if they're equal component-wise. These are the components. Do you agree? And this I can rewrite this is the more standard way of writing it, x equals x0 plus alpha L, y equals y0 plus alpha M, and z equals z0 plus alpha N. Clear? So this is the equation of a line, and it turns out to be three equations. Okay, and what does it mean? What does it mean? A point on the line, x, y, z, is always of the form x has to be x0 plus alpha L. By the way, what is this alpha? A name. I'm looking, any real number is good. It's usually called a parameter. Okay? Alpha can be anything. If alpha is 0, for example, all of this disappears, and which point do you rediscover? The original point, x0, y0, z0, that's for alpha equals 0. Do you agree? And for any other alpha that you take, for any alpha that you take, you're going to get a different point on the line. You're going to take the point x0, y0, z0, and add to it some, some uh, 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 scalar multiple of the components of A. So you're going to be along this line, but it, it, if alpha is negative, you're going to go the other way, for example. Do you agree? Okay, so this is the equation of a line. Um, so let me, I'll rewrite it. So this, x equals x0 plus alpha L, y equals y0 plus alpha M, and z equals z0 plus alpha N, is called the equation of a line, and yes, it's three equations, in parametric form. It's, it depends on the parameter, okay? Any, for any value of alpha, for any value of alpha, we get a point on the line. Clear? Everybody good? Now, a different way of writing the same thing there's a, a different way of writing the equation of a line, not in parametric form, and it's called canonical form. And it's the following, um, but I want to look back at the previous board. So look here a second. Look at this. B before we wrote this, we wrote this. It's the same thing, of course. And divide x minus x0 by L. What do you get? Alpha, right? Divide y minus y0 by m. What do you get? Alpha. Divide z minus z0 by n. What do you get? Alpha. So in particular, all three, when divided by l, m, and n respectively, are equal to alpha, so they're equal to each other. Do you agree? So I can write x minus x0 divided by l equals y minus y0 divided by m equals z minus z0 divided by n. Do you agree? Okay, so that's what, I, what I'm going to write. So x minus x0 divided by L equals y minus y0 divided by m equals z minus z0 divided by n. This is again the equation of a line, the equation of a line in so-called canonical canonical form. 
Okay, any double ends here? I have a double letter phobia. I never remember where they are. Well, not never, sometimes. So feel free to correct me on any typos. I made a typo in the previous clip. Okay, so if somebody didn't notice it, look for it. It was in one of the normals, should have been N2 instead of N1. And nobody told me, only afterwards. That's R. Okay, so the equation of a line in canonical form is this thing. But note that I made a little, a little something which is very, very a big no-no in mathematics. Right, I, I just freely, without even thinking twice, divided by L, divided by M, divided by N, maybe they're zero. Okay, you can't divide by zero, not even in Calc 2. Okay, so this is true for L, M, and N, all of which are not zero. That's when this thing holds, okay. If they are zero, if one of them happens to be zero, I just can't write this. It's nonsense, okay. So what do we do? We go back again to where we derived it from, to here. If L is 0, then what we have is x minus x0 equals 0. Do you agree? In other words, x is just fixed. It's always x0. Do you agree? Okay, so maybe I'll go back here and write it. If, for example, let's say L equals zero, then we write X equals X zero, fixed, comma, and Y minus Y zero divided by M equals Z minus Z zero divided by N. So this would be the equation of the line in this case. Clear? So let me put some boxes. This is the parametric form. This doesn't care if L, M, and N are zero or not. This is the canonical form. When they're all non-zero, and here, if one of them is zero, then the canonical form takes a slightly different appearance. Clear? Everybody good? So let's do an example. Let's do a concrete um, example. Um, so example, um, uh, the line through, so I'm going to find the line going through two points, okay, um, or no, let's, okay, let's just do a regular one. One, two, three, that's our M0, no, one, two, negative three, um, and parallel to the vector a, which is what? 3, negative 1, 2. Okay, so what would its equation be? So in parametric form, parametric form, it's going to be x minus 1 divided by 3, sorry, that's the, sorry, this is the canonical form. Parametric form is going to be x equals x0, 1, plus alpha times 3, we usually write 3 alpha, okay, y equals y0, 2, plus negative 1 alpha, so minus alpha, and z equals negative 3, that's z0, plus alpha times 2, plus 2 alpha. So give me a point on this line, which is not this point. You can see that you get this point if you plug in alpha equals 0. Do you see that? Give me a point on this, on this line, which is not 1, 2, negative 3. So did you all like take alpha equals 1? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so a point, another point. Be creative. Take alpha to be pi over 2. <laughs> Negative square root of 5. I don't know. Another point on the line is 
So what did you say? Alpha equals 1. So you get 4. Uh, 2 minus 1 is 1. And negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Good. That's a point on the line. Good. Everybody with us? Hello. Okay. What about uh, canonical form? So what did we agree? This is the correct way of spelling canonical? You don't know. Hmm. So if it's not, this is a big embarrassment. Canonical form. So what's the canonical form? x minus x0, x minus 1, divided by L, 3, equals y minus 2. Y, this is an equal sign y minus 2 divided by negative 1 equals z minus z minus z minus negative 3. So z plus 3 divided by 2. This is the canonical form of the same line. Okay? And note that here again there are actually three equations. Okay? This is equal to this. This is equal to this, and this is equal to this. It's just a compact way of writing it. Okay, good? Everybody? Okay. Just one comment, you'll also see written the parametric form. So this is just a remark. Um, remark. Sometimes you'll, you'll see this written, for example, in this form. L of alpha equals and then the components, 1 plus 3 alpha. I don't have space here. That's bad. Um, let's write it down here. So also written, L of alpha equals 1 plus 3 alpha. That's the x. 2 minus alpha. That's the y. And negative 3 plus 2 alpha. That's the uh, z. Okay, so this is still the parametric form, just written a bit differently. Okay, you'll see things like that as well. Okay, and there are other ways. There, there are. Th this is really a not not a standard um, one specific way that everybody uh, um, writes the same, but rather in different texts you'll see different ways of writing. And as long as you know what, you're, what you mean and what you're doing, they're all fine. Okay, I'm, I'm usually going to use either this or this. Okay, questions? Okay, so now we know what the equation of a line looks like. And in, uh, in our uh, next clip, we're going to discuss uh, various uh, uh, formulas and, and phenomena related to lines, like parallel lines, perpendicular lines, uh, the distance from a point to a line, and things like that. Okay? So that's coming up next.